love and light, everybody. <clears throat> I would like to thank everybody for taking the time to view my video, okay? Also, I would like to thank all my new subscribers and like to thank everybody that has been liking, sharing, and commenting on my videos, okay? In my last video, I definitely read every comment, so I want everybody to know. I'm acknowledging everybody. I definitely see your comments. I try my best to heart and respond to everything, because I know, you know, I don't like ignoring people. I know I don't like to be ignored when I leave comments. So, I'm definitely hearing you guys, okay? So, let's jump straight in on how the... Do we want to do a video on karmic or do we want to tap in on the masculine? I think this video is going to be on the masculine and the karmic, okay? So, I'm going to pull cards for what these karmics are feeling right now. I'm going to pull from my soul journeys card just to see what they're struggling with and needing to, what lessons they're needing to work on. <clears throat> what are they needing to fix? Okay. Let's do it. And thank you for everybody that has been booking readings with me. I really appreciate it. I love when people reach out to me for readings. I just like to talk to people directly and just help them with their situations directly. So thank you to everybody that has purchased a reading with me. Also, um, if you would like to donate to my channel, my cash app is in the description box. It will be very helpful um, to those that choose to donate, help the channel get better, help me get more decks and stuff like that, you know. So, please donate to the channel if you are interested. If you're not, that's fine. I'm not begging or pressuring anybody to donate to my channel. Just thought I'd throw that out there. All right, spirit. Please put the light around my cards. Okay, please put the light around me. Do not allow any dark energies in my energy field. Do not allow any dark energies into my energy field. Why I am channeling messages from the creator, from the universe, from the spirit world. All right, let's tap right in, okay? Spirit, what is going on with the karmics? What are they struggling with at this current moment in this journey with the masculine? What are these karmics struggling with at the current moment? What are they struggling with? What are you, they needing to work on? What are these karmics needing to work on? Okay, balance. All right. What else? And trust. Okay. So at the bottom of the balance card, it says, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. And then they got the trust card. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So what these cards tell me when I'm, you know, the energy I'm picking up from these cards is these karmics are very unbalanced right now. Okay. They don't really know which way to turn, which direction to go into. They don't know, you know, where to go from here, okay? Some of these masculines have broken up with the karmics, and they're not letting you know that. You probably won't, aren't seeing it on the internet, or you're just not hearing about it. But some of these masculines have took a break from the karmics, okay? And some of these karmics have called it quits with the masculine, too, because they just can't trust them. You know, even though these masculines get in their mood where it's back and forth, one minute they want to fuck with the karmic, I mean, fuck with the feminine, then they want to fuck with the karmic, you know, they're tired of being brought on a roller coaster consistently, okay? They're tired of their life being a turmoil energy. They're tired of, you know, having an outhouse with this masculine. What I mean by that is, you know, this karmic is letting this masculine run everything where they live. They're letting this masculine have all type of friends and company and just whoever they want all up and through their house. Like I said in my other video... They got kids and the kids are seeing people running in and out. You know, they're seeing fighting consistently between the masculine and the karmic. You know, they're seeing their mother breaking down when he walks off on her or leaves or something or tell him I'm not coming home tonight. You know, they're just unbalanced right now and they're needing to find balance in their life. And the only way they're going to get that balance is if they walk away from this masculine. Some of them don't aren't getting the message. OK, so a small collective of karmics have walked away or the masculine has walked away. But I'm not picking up that this is a, a full blown walk away. I just I'm picking up that they're getting the hang of breaking up and separating from each other. But they keep coming back together. But it's coming to an end soon. But I can't quite pinpoint when. OK, but definitely, you know, they're getting the strength to separate from each other. The breakups are becoming more frequently. But see, some of these masculines have gotten into a serious commitment with these karmics. So it's kind of embarrassing that they're having problems this early in a marriage or this early in a relationship. They're kind of feeling, you know, 
irritated that they even, you know, got serious with this person, okay? So the karmics are definitely, you know, trying to hide that shit ain't working out for them. And they're needing to find balance. They're also needing to trust their intuition. Their intuition has been telling them for years, months, even weeks that this ain't the person for them. Okay, this person want to hurt you. Okay, courage. The courage card spit out. They're trying to build up the courage to end this connection. You know, they're just trying to build the courage up, period, because I feel like, you know, a lot of karmics are watching my videos and other tarot, tarot videos. And they're realizing, like, they might not like what they're hearing, but they're realizing that we're speaking facts when it comes down to them in a situation. And, you know, they're, you know, they're feeling empowered by these videos. Also, they could have people around them or just be listening to different, you know, videos on YouTube, searching up, how do I leave a relationship? How do I become strong? How do I stand up to a person that's abusing me? Like they're looking up ways to be a, have courage in walking away from this relationship. You know, they're starting to realize that this relationship is getting ready to come to the end. No matter how much magic they do, it's not going to work. Okay. They're also trying to let go of their pride in the situation. Some of these karmics are only staying with these masculines because, you know, they got a point to prove to you and other bitches that they're fucking with. Okay. They, they feel like, you know, in the past, they felt like, oh, I just can't, you know, I can't let her win. I can't let her lose. I mean, not let her lose. I can't let her win. I can't lose him. I can't. They feel like this is a battle. But they're not, they're finally understanding that they're the only person in this battle because you walked away and it was never a battle for you. You really was in it with this masculine, okay? Some of them were really in it with them too, but a major, you know, they were tired. Some of you guys came in on a relationship and, you know, before you even came in on the relationship, they were already having problems. They were already fucked up. They were already at a bad place. And this karmic was already feeling like she didn't want to work it out anymore. She wanted to walk away, but then... You know, the bomb ass, divine feminine, cute ass, thick ass, bubble butt ass. You know, I'm picking up on somebody that got an hourglass body, real pretty, light skin, dark skin, natural hair, red hair, maroon hair, um, kind of like a fluorescent blue type hair. You know, I'm picking up on some feminines that are really in style, okay? And you came in and you definitely are the reason why this relationship is still standing today. Because if you wouldn't have never came in the picture feminine, this relationship would have been broken apart a long time ago. Okay. But she's realizing that, you know, her happiness is no longer. This person been ain't making her happy, you know. And at the pride card, it says, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Okay. She's realizing that. You know, you are teaching her self-love. These videos are teaching these karmic self-love. They're definitely lurking. They're definitely trying to get information on what's going on. Because, I don't know, Spirit has just been leading everybody to tarot videos for some reason. So, if you think that these karmics ain't watching these videos, you're fooling yourself, okay? They're definitely looking up horoscope shit. You know, they're possibly getting psychic readings from people just to figure out what's going on and you know they're finding out that they've been suppressing their happiness to make this masculine happy and they've been suppressing their happy happiness so that you don't win the battle okay they're finally getting out of their head about things with this relationship kind of sort of okay not all the way because they keep on pulling and tugging on each other they one minute they want to lead a masculine the next minute you know they want to stay. They, they're fighting demons. <laughs> they're fighting these demons within them that are, are not letting them hold on. That are not are not letting them hold on. It's not letting them release themselves from this type of connection. All right. So let's go ahead and jump in for the karmics and the masculines. All right. So I'm going to pull a card for the karmics and then i'm gonna pull a card for what the masculine is feeling today okay so what's up spirit what do you want the collective to know about these karmics and how they're feeling today okay she's hoping for a miracle she's hoping that you know somehow some way this relationship could turn even though she's thinking about walking away and she's trying to walk away you know and for the ones that have walked away you know, they're hoping that 
they, they can survive without this masculine. They can pay their bills. You know, some of these masculines have been controlling these karmics with finances, cars, clothes, cell phones. You know, some of these masculines secluded these karmics and got them completely dependent on them, okay? These karmics going to work, handing their checks over to these masculines. They, they don't have any control over their life. And they're just praying for a miracle once they walk off from this relationship. They're hoping that their life doesn't fall apart or they don't get karma for what they have did to you for the black magic they've done, okay? They're feeling really guilty and resentful. And then the masculines are dreaming and diving deep right now. You know, they're in their feelings because you ain't fucking with them the way you were. All right, and if you were fucking with them, you feeding them with a long handle spoon, you ain't really, you know, giving them the you you used to give them. And it's got them daydreaming about how things used to be between y'all. You know, it's got them really thinking in their mind like, damn, I keep doing this back and forth shit. One minute I'm wanting the karmic, one minute I'm wanting the feminine, and this shit is getting tiring. Some of them are just feeling like, period, they don't even want to be with nobody. They thinking like, maybe I just need to take some time to myself. And that's the best thing for these masculines to do. You know, you feminines may think that you want them to leave the karmic and come be with you, but you really don't because they're going to come be with you and treat you the same way they treated this karmic because they ain't healed. These masculines need to be single for a while so they can do a lot of self-reflecting. You know, they need to be able to face themselves. You, you're you already doing that job. By you walking away, you're helping them start their mirror process, okay? You're making them look at themselves in the mirror more, making them, you know, realize they're going, they're diving deep, deep within themselves. You know, they may not be showing that shit, but they're definitely in their head and they ain't really giving these karmics attention, even though they together, even though they still doing shit together. It's like when they're in a the car with each other, they're not talking. When they're, you know, on a trip together, they're faking it for family, but they really ain't on good terms, okay? So don't let don't be fooled by the shenanigans on the internet because the internet is a playground to, for people to be whoever they want to be, even if they really ain't who they say they is. You could be whoever the fuck you want to be on the internet if you post the right pictures or post the right footage or say the right things, okay? And then this karmic is definitely, you know, she's having an inner knowing about just everything. She knows that this masculine, you know, is getting tired of this back and forth cycle. She knows that this masculine is tired of going back and forth with her. They're tired of breaking up, making up, okay? Um, you know, she's been content with this cycle for a long time, I'm hearing. And she's just like, you know, so, I, well, before I finish on this card, I want to say something about this inner knowing. Both of these karmics, the karmics and the masculines are in a going within energy right now. They're both living in the same house, but just not really talking to each other, you know? She's still cooking dinner and shit for him, but he don't really want to eat her food. He don't really trust her. You know, She, I feel like this is a karmic that's calling herself trying to throw the fuck down in the kitchen because the bitch really can't cook. She can't cook better than you, whether. But, you know, she should call herself trying to throw down in the kitchen and She'll make him a plate and he'll just be like, oh, my stomach is hurting. I ain't feeling good. I'll eat it later. Put it in the microwave. Then go get him some fucking fast food. And then she'd be looking like, damn, thought you wasn't hungry. Thought your stomach was hurting. But she ain't speaking on it. She's just seeing how bad this connection is going to get. Okay? Because some of them are stuck with each other. They married. This is a married couple I'm hearing. This is a married couple or some type of commitment that involves documents. All right? But they've both been, even though they're both in their head about each other, they both are sharing this content energy. They've been content in this fucked up space with each other. Like, they're unhappy. They're both unhappy. They, You know, this karmic, she can't express herself to this masculine. This masculine, he can express how he, the fuck he feel. But if he do, he knows she gonna start trying to get, you know, bitchy and argue him down. And he gonna have to beat her ass. And he just is just like, rather just not really talk. You know, he ain't been... He ain't in the mood. She's not in the mood. So these are, uh, this is a couple that's sleeping with their backs turned. I don't pick up any sex happening right now. Maybe a few days ago they fucked, but it wasn't nothing. Okay. It wasn't anything that was, he's tired of that pussy. That pussy wore out. You know, this is somebody that, also I want to say something. These masculines cuffed a alley cat okay this karmic is somebody that could have a lot of kids 
If she don't got a lot of kids, she can have a lot of fucking abortions, okay? Everybody in the neighborhood can say they know what that pussy smell like, look like, possibly taste like, whatever, however it resonates. But this masculine cuffed the hoe, okay? And he been content with this hoe for a long time. Not to disrespect any woman, but this is what her actions have been showing, whole energy, okay? And then she got with this masculine, and she's trying to act like she's this wife, and she's this mother, and she's just so holier than thou, but this bitch done been ran through, okay? These masculines and these karmics are both wanting to ask for help. The masculine is wanting to ask for help from you. And then the karmic is asking for help for God, from God. She needs assistance at the current moment with this masculine I'm hearing. She's needing assistance from God, okay? She's asking. She can't really ask her family or friends because this is a karmic that has went against the grain for this masculine. You know, he's convinced her to quit fucking with her family, don't listen to her friends. So now motherfuckers really don't want to fuck with this karmic and she don't feel like she has anybody to talk to. So the only person she got to talk to is God at this point. And I don't think God is really trying to listen because you've been doing black magic, bitch. You know, you've been trying to fuck with the divine seeds. What make you think you're going to be getting some help right now is what I'm hearing. All right, so let's see. I'm pulling from my romance oracle cards just to dig a little deeper onto this relationship, okay? Just to dig a little deeper. What else, spirit? What do you else you want to tell me about how this masculine is feeling? Well, let me see. How is he feeling towards the karmic right now? I mean, the feminine right now. What is he feeling for the feminine relationship rise? Where is his mind at? Where is this masculine's mind at? For the feminine, how is he feeling relationship rise with the feminine? Romantic feelings, okay? So this masculine is definitely, that's why he's diving deep. He can't get over the fact that you don't want to fuck with him no more, okay? So now that you done flipped the script on him once again, because I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's recently been fucking with their masculine or communicating with him, and he ghosted you once again, you know, even though you're successful and shit, you, get, you tried to give him the benefit of the doubt once again, and he ghosted you to go back to this karmic. It was good for a day or two. Now they back into it again about something else. Now he's in his feelings again, you know, feeling romantic feelings towards you. But to me, it's just like, I don't get it. If you know somebody got your heart and they bring the best out of you, why do you keep fucking a person over like that? I don't get it. And then you want to be in your feelings, feeling romantic and shit feeling like you want to explore your feelings with this feminine so that's all he gonna be feeling is romantic feelings because some of y'all ain't fucking with this masculine at all not at all what else release your ex okay so he's feeling like you know he's got feelings for you he's in oh shit okay so this masculine is in his head today about possibly walking away so the karmic and the masculine are both for a collective of people that i'm picking up this ain't everybody's situation but for a collective of people this masculine is in his head today as well as the karmic they're both thinking about leaving each other okay they're both kind of coming to conclusion that they've both been content in this reckless ass relationship for a long motherfucking time now and it just keeps going back and forth. It keeps being the same shit over and over and over again. And it's like, they're just, they're getting tired now. We thought they would never get tired, but they're getting tired. And he's in his head today thinking about you, how he feels towards you, how he's treated you, how he's put you last every time, okay? And now he's thinking about, you know, releasing this karmic. And he's thinking about doing it really soon. So the masculines are trying to come up with an escape plan. But I, like I said, even if they come back to you, feminine, I would tell them hell no. Because they're not healed. They ain't went through the dark night of the soul. They ain't, you know, and some of these masculines are in divine jail. So you don't want their karma attaching to your success that you've been rewarded. Remember, you know, before I even started doing my tarot uh, videos and opened up my page... 
I would watch videos myself and they just kept saying like, you know, you're about to be gifted with abundance and that shit is here now. It took a while, but it's here and it's showing with the money y'all are receiving random. Like some of y'all are getting money out of nowhere. Some of you guys have been struggling down on your ass. And then next thing you know, now shit is turning in your favor. Finally, you thought this shit would never come to fruition, but now it's here. Okay, don't let this masculine come back because he's in the mood to be with you. Some of you guys, you know, they, it's time for y'all. Y'all been separated so much for such a long time. They ready to fuck. They ready to cuddle. And they possibly going to come fuck you, cuddle with you, and then go back to this karmic. But as of right now, you know, they're feeling like now is the time possibly to release this karmic. And they're thinking about doing the shit soon. They're trying to figure out how can they get a divorce without looking dumb. Some of them went out their way to hurt you feminines with a wedding or hurt you your feelings with a baby with this karmic. And to be honest, I just I'm gonna just give y'all advice. I just feel like, you know, y'all shouldn't even really, if this masculine got a baby with this karmic, let it the fuck go. Because it's gonna be the same shit over and over and over again. I don't think this is a person. I don't think of whoever I'm talking to. This is not a man that's going to ever really change. Like I said, a lot of these masculines are not going to make it to the fifth dimension. They're going to take they're they're going to be stripped of their divine streak and they're going to have to start over from fucking scratch all because they let the temptation on earth distract them from what they were supposed to be here doing, okay? Which is procreating with you, getting into the spirituality with you. And just living a positive life and trying to lift everybody else up to live a positive life. Okay? So, yeah, if they got somebody, that, if they're with a karmic and they got a baby with that karmic and they got a baby with you, I would just say find someone else. Don't try to stick it out with this twin flame journey. I'm not the reader that's going to tell you to stay with somebody. Just because, you know, you're supposed to go through that in the twin flame journey. You don't have to kill your fucking mental in your heart because this is your divine counterpart you don't have to be with your twin flame you can see them next lifetime like erica badu said okay you don't have to go through that shit so let the karmic have them or whatever they're gonna do and you find somebody better because god got a, a plan b for you just in case everybody got a plan b god made sure he has somebody for everybody in case the masculine or the feminine didn't want to act right. So that's where he's at with it. He's thinking about, you know, breaking up with uh, the karmic and coming over your way. He wants some of your success too. He's seeing that you guys getting bread, you getting money. He wants some. So I got, this could be the one in reverse for how the karmic is feeling. And I got getting to know each other, okay? So this karmic is just starting to feel like, you know, she thought this was her twin flame, her soulmate, her everything. But she's just realizing no matter how much she fight, no matter how much she beg, no matter how she get her ass whooped, I mean, how much she gets her ass whooped, no matter how much he cheats on her and she stick around and try to prove that she loyal, no matter how much she hustle for him, no matter how much she keeps secrets for him, no matter how much she proves she a hustler and to get out there and get that money for her nigga, he's not going to love her the way that he loves you. It's starting to, it's taking slow, but it's starting to get in her mind. So now she's feeling like maybe I should just get to know somebody else or maybe I should start giving my side nigga the time of day and stop playing with him and leading him on. Cause that's the real person that I'm supposed to be with and he really care about me. And it's true. These karmas got niggas on the side that they're ditching and fucking with because you know, they too prideful to let you have them or to let anybody have them. You know, these are Jezebel succubus bitches. They're possessed with demons and entities, okay? Then I got children for the karmic. Your love life is being affected by children. Some of these karmics don't want, you know, these masculines in their children's lives. So it's pissing them off because these masculines are waking up. And they're like, you know what? I'm not finna fucking ditch my child. You ain't finna keep me from my baby, bitch. And I'm sorry, I ain't trying to cuss, but this is just what I'm being led to say. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? Like, some of these masculines is getting it. 
They're finally getting it, but they ain't there yet to be with you, but they're getting it. And some of them is letting these karmics know. If you don't like the fact that I want to go see my baby, even if you know I'm in love with the mama, I don't know what to fucking tell you. And this karmic can't handle the fact that you got to be around or they got to see their child. It's irritating. So they're just like, that's part of why they are, you know, in the inner knowing type of energy because they know that as long as you and him got a baby together, it's going to always be something. And they just don't know if they want to deal with that. Also, there's a collective of karmics who was the main bitch and you came in on the side and you got pregnant. And they're very jealous of the child. And they possibly can't have kids of their own. They possibly got their tubes tied or they're just not fertile or the body chemistry is not right with the masculine. Some people can't conceive with certain people because you guys don't have the same body chemistry, okay? They don't teach us that in school, but it definitely has a lot to do with body chemistry, why some people can't conceive with certain people. It don't be just that you're fertile. That'd be a way of motherfuckers going to the doctor, letting a gynecologist tell them they ain't fertile get them on type of medication to make you sterile especially if you're black and i said what i said and i don't care what nobody cares thinks okay if there's any doctors or nurses watching my channel hey i know the facts and i know what it is you know doctors and shit use shit to get money and make motherfuckers sterile that's a whole nother subject bottom of the line though this karmic she can't she's jealous of the baby She's jealous of the fact that you had a baby with her man. She shows that to him, but he tries to portray it to you that she's so for the baby, which that ain't at all the fucking truth. She dogs your child out behind your back. She never say that shit to you. And some of them probably do. But when the karmic and the masculine argue about this baby that was had on her, she talks shit about that baby and that masculine lets her. And that's why I wouldn't fuck with him. Because he's let this karmic say a lot of shit that if you heard it, you probably would beat that bitch, to, beat her ass the fuck up. Okay, I was going to say to the dirt, but I don't want to say certain things on YouTube and then my video get flagged. But no, for real. A lot of the shit that the karmic has said when you ain't around, if you heard it, it'll be a problem. And I don't know what man will sit and allow a woman to dog their child out, but that's how these niggas is. Pussy be more important than a baby these days. So that's just it. That's the facts. But she just can't get over the fact that he had a baby on her. She can't accept this child, even though she's portraying like she does on the internet. I feel like some of these, you know, karmas get on the internet and they claim your child is theirs. It's a show. It's a front. And really deep down inside, she has a fire pit of hate towards this baby. Don't let your kids go around these karmics. Even if you ain't a bitter person, do not let your kids go about go around this karmic woman. She's going to mistreat your child. She's going to look at your child funny. She, I feel like this is the karmic that your child will be trying to tell you like, I need my pull-up change or I need, I'm hungry. And she'll like ignore the child because she can't stand the fact that this baby is even here, but she's trying to tolerate it so the masculine, you know, won't beat her ass or leave her. He'll only allow her to do so much and say so much. Keep that in mind. But some of these masculines are going to ride with their karmic, even if I, I'm here in a situation where something could, a child could get hurt in the presence of a karmic, and it could be because of the karmic, and he'll cover for her. Because she has money. She has money maker. Money is more important than anything to these men these days, okay? Also, for another collective of karmics, they're wanting to walk away because their children are being abused mentally and verbally by the masculines. And and when I say abused mentally, like not saying the masculines are purposely doing shit to their kids, but the masculines are abusing their mother and it's fucking with the kids, okay? The kids are seeing their mom be abused, whether it's ver verbally, mentally, or physically. They're seeing their mothers be bothered and treated bad and some of them got daughters and their daughters are soaking all this in and there somebody is telling the karmic like you don't want your daughter to grow up and think that's okay you don't want your daughter to grow up and think that shit is okay you know she's starting to to really her mother instincts is finally starting to kick in finally she's starting to actually pay attention to her kids and their needs 
because this masculine has showed her for the last time that he don't really care for her or her kids like that. And she's starting to try to live life for her kids, okay? She's trying to give them a comfortable environment to be around because they don't deserve to be around consistently arguing and all that. And then I got the engagement card, okay? So some of these masculines recently engaged to this karmic or they recently were engaged and got married quick. It was probably a quick ass process. They didn't waste no time. And that was to hurt you purposely feminine. But I got the engagement card in reverse. So this man, if this karmic is still engaged to this masculine, she's thinking about calling it off. She's thinking about giving him his ring back. So they're both kind of thinking about leaving each other. Who's going to do it first though is the question. Because to me, whoever walks away first is the one that wins. Honestly, because if the karmic walk away from the masculine, he could possibly feel, you know, they're in their ego all the time. So if she walk away first, that's probably going to bother him. So he might try to go back and get back with her so that he can walk away from her and feel like he walked away with the pants. OK, so whoever walk away first is how you going to know who the problem is. OK, who's been the problem? All right, codependency for the masculine. You know, he's wanting to walk away from this karmic, but he too dependent on her. This is the type of man that has to have a woman in the house that kisses his ass, that folds his clothes, packs his clothes, irons his clothes. You know, this is a big ass, grown ass baby. He's the toughest motherfucker. He bark his, he barks so fucking much. But if he had to live in a house alone, this nigga would know how to make a fucking meal. Fucking damn near, damn near this karmic be wiping the shit off his ass. <laughs> damn near. Damn fucking there, okay? Hmm, what other card do I want to pull from? So this is the energy today for the karmics and the masculines. You know, they're not really fighting, but they're not really talking either. They're not, they're in their heads today about if they should just let each other go. They on some Lauren Hill type shit. You let go. And I let go too. You know, that's how they're feeling. Like, see, I know what we've got to do. That's my shit. <laughs> X Factor. Some of you guys could be listening to that song too. That's a really emotional song. Like, when I was going through my heartbreak, I definitely felt where Lauren was coming from. Like, the shit is toxic. You know, at this point, it ain't love, but it's like we can't stop messing with each other. Every time I try to walk away, and that's what they're feeling. Every time I walk away, you hurt yourself to make me stay. That's what he does to the karmic. Like, whenever she's ready to leave or she just like, fuck it, you can go be with the family, even though she don't mean it. He be feeling like she be serious, you know, because she's trying to be like you. She's trying to be strong, and he gets nervous and I feel like this is a nigga that say, oh, I'm going to kill myself if you leave type energy, okay? So the energy for the karmic right now is farewell to the moon. Appreciate and appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles, okay? So someone a, a elderly is telling her, like, appreciate what you've been through, okay? I just heard the name Sarah or Cece, Sierra. That's weird, but okay. Appreciate what you've been through. Um, but don't beat yourself up about what you've been through. So she's talking to an elderly woman that she trusts. And they're just like, you know, baby, you've been through it. You allowed yourself to get beat up. Don't let yourself get beat up anymore. So someone is giving words of wisdom to the karmic right now. And she's ready to look back on this and just say, fuck it. I've been through it. I've been hurt. Someone could have a tattoo on their arm, um, like right on their shoulder area. Because I'm seeing this woman with a tattoo right here. So this could be a, some, a feminine. You could have a tattoo on your shoulder, like right up in this area somewhere. Somebody could have star tattoos. Someone could have... Um, lunar tattoos like space planets okay somebody could have a tattoo down their spine or on their butt cheek okay and then the masculine energy is return of the aphrodite temple birth of a goddess guidance goddess energy treating sacred so he's like you know he's feeling like ready to walk into the divine light he's ready to walk into his purpose 
he's ready to, you know, start a new journey. So they're both in the energy of they need something different. Like Drake said, but I need something different. You know it. Oh, oh you know it. Oh, oh, you know it. We both know it. If anybody knows that song, Doing It Wrong. Doing It Wrong, I think that's what it's called. But they're both feeling like they need something different. And they are kind of coming to... I feel like this is a relationship that is kind of coming to an understanding that it's just not working no matter what they do. And it's time to end this cycle. Okay? And then I got the unseen. And I got energy field adjustment. All right? So this meanwhile, this masculine is trying to adjust his energy. He's trying to come closer to you. He's trying to fix himself so he can, he's trying to get rid of codependency issues. I feel like he wants to be single for a while, even though he's breaking up with this karmic. He want to be single for a little bit so he can get himself together. He can get his, you know, energy right. Because he know he can't come to you fucked up. Like I was just saying, don't take him back because he's going to be fucked up. He know he can't come to you with fucked up energy. So he's trying to fix himself and then... The karmic is feeling like you don't even know the half of this nigga, okay? You want this nigga? All right, I'm going to let you have him, feminine. Let, I'm going to let you get the full dose of what it's like to be with this masculine, okay? Because too much is hidden from you. That's what the card says at the bottom, the unseen. Too much is hitting. So she's feeling like I'm. this woman is crawling out of this dark cage, this dark abyss. And I'm going to say the, the dark cage is the masculine, okay? That's his situ. That's him. She's walking away from him. You know, she's trying to crawl out. She's it's, She can't barely get up and stand up. She's weak. But she barely can't get out. But she's trying. She's been crawling for a long time. And she's finally coming out. This can also be someone who's a witch. Okay? A black witch that is doing black magic because it's skeleton bone. So she could spend a lot of time at the cemetery. Or she could be doing cemetery rituals. Uh, I'm hearing now and in the past. Because right? there's still karmics that are holding on tight. But I'm picking up on some karmics that have kind of got the message by now, now. But I said now, now. Sorry, y'all. <sighs> I don't know why I be tweaking when I be talking, but yeah. But yes, these karmics are definitely feeling like, you know, it's time for me to walk away. It's time for me to get out. Also, this could be a karmic that's going to walk away. And pull skeletons out the masculine's closet. Possibly expose him, tell his business. You know, tell him, tell shit that could put him in jail. You know, this is a karmic that knows a lot of fucked up shit about the masculine. And she's made it clear that if he walked away or, you know, she wasn't letting him walk away with his dignity. He gonna be embarrassed the same way she is. So that's the energy of the read, guys, for the karmics and the masculines. I hope that resonated with someone or, you know, just the collective period. If it did, make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe to my video. Thank you. Love and light.